2022 has been more of the same. New releases roll out, they claim they're gonna be the next big thing, some even advertise themselves as Genshin killers, but ultimately they disappoint, and the same few gacha continue to dominate the genre. Games like Genshin Impact, like Fate Grand Order, Uma Musume, games that have 5, 10, 20 times the earnings and active players of the majority of their competitors combined. 2022 is littered with the corpses of gacha games, both new and old alike. But I don't think the year will end that way. On the contrary, I believe that there is a new gacha game releasing in a little over a week that could emerge as one of the few triumphant victors of the year. A gacha game that I have played. A gacha game that I have enjoyed immensely. A gacha game that I believe nobody else knows about. Seriously. Not a single one of you know about this game. Before we discuss the game though, I do want to thank our patrons over on Patreon. You guys are better than any new gacha game out there, and are higher rarity than any husband Owen waifu. Also, if you don't already, consider following Mrs. Stix and I over on Twitter, I'll be doing gacha currency giveaways over there every week. While 2023 is looking incredibly promising with prospective gacha games like Wuthering Waves and Arknight's Enfield, immense open world RPGs and strategy games that possess the funding and the backing of large studios, there's a game right now, right around the corner, that is about to captivate millions of us. Nikkei, Goddess of Victory. Nikkei is an immersive sci-fi RPG shooter, taking place in a world where humanity is forced to fight aliens, monsters, machines, in an attempt to survive. Well, I say humanity, but, you know, let's be honest here. We all know exactly who is in charge of engaging the threat. Some of the hottest waifus on the entire planet. I swear to God, whichever military force found these women and enlisted them, you guys have done this world a goddamn service. Now, Nikkei is not going to be for everyone. I know that's kinda hard to believe, but it isn't. It's not your typical RPG after all. Rather, players are going to have to actually, first and foremost, play it. They will require the use of their thumbs, or maybe the use of their index finger if you're weird, and take control of your harem as you cycle through them and unload onto your enemies, un unload bullets, like barrages of bullets onto your enemies. I know a lot of fans are looking forward to playing the game because of the fan service present, and I'll be the first to admit, that is also a large selling point for me as well. Heck, when Nikkei reached out to both Mrs. Sticks, my wife and I, with beta access, I showed Mrs. Sticks the game, she decided she was going to go ahead and Google some pictures, she looked at me and immediately went, holy booba. <laughs> and then proceeded to immediately download the game so she could uh, she could appreciate the waifus firsthand. But there's so much more to it than just the waifus. This is a game that provides more freedom than your traditional gacha RPG, where you move from mission to mission, conquering chapter after chapter. You're given physical control over your characters as you choose which missions you want to tackle when. There are optional side encounters that can be significantly more difficult than the, the level of monsters that you're currently battling, requiring a little bit more forethought which I, I never put into any decisions I make. Gameplay is immensely fun. You have control over every single waifu, and every waifu has their own unique weapon types and abilities. This makes waifu composition very important, and adds additional layers to an already fairly deep gameplay system. Having more than a single sniper will inhibit you, as will having doubles or triples of really any weapon type, unless they're exponentially more powerful than what you already have. There are so many systems in place, or that were in place during the beta, with so many more to come. And really, the entire purpose of this video was to note that there was an interview that went live yesterday that was translated by fans online, with a lot of useful new information concerning its official launch. One, there is going to be a battle pass when the game releases, Two, there are going to be additional skins present in-game. Some of these skins are going to be tied exclusively to the battle pass. Some will be free, some will be acquired in other ways. Three, there will be guilds present with multiplayer raids being implemented. And four, 
they have confirmed that the full release is going to have a PvP system. Given the type of game this is, and how it requires a lot of micromanagement, PvP is going to be a lot more hands-on than typical gacha games, which I'm actually really looking forward to. Note that this information was acquired from the pridewin.gg website, and they have confirmed that they'll be translating more as it's released, so if you haven't already, go ahead and check their website out especially if you want to keep up to date with all the new information pertaining to the game. Nikki as of October 11th, counted 3 million pre-registered players. I have little doubt they've crossed 4 million, or will easily cross 4 million leading up to its release on November 4th. And honestly, I'm more excited now than ever to play this. This is one of my most anticipated gacha games of 2022. It looks incredible and it plays fantastic. There was a ton to do and a lot of actual physical interaction with the game, which is something that I need out of the games that I play. If you haven't pre-registered yet, then I urge you to, to obtain your goodies. You can pre-register by clicking the link in the description in the pinned comment below. Either way, I'll see you guys in game November 4th. Also, if Nikkei isn't your thing, no problem. I have two videos on screen right now that might be. Both incredible upcoming gacha games that could potentially redefine the entire gacha genre.